but what we needed for this site based on lessons learned from 9-11, uh, the, the way technology is going, you know, basically best practices in, in the industry was to have situational awareness over everything. So we had to find a way to, to um, get as much information as possible, fuse it, correlate it, and then bring it into, in, into a single location. So we took the, the, the two products, Vidsys and Quantum, event management and ID management, and we asked them to uh, develop an integration with a single rules-based driver or rules development driver. This way we can correlate information from the event and identity and then have a better situational awareness. For example, if someone finds a card in the street or steals a card mm -hmm. and he's trying to get into critical areas, a, a, a critical closet, uh, central chiller plant, you know, some critical electrical areas that they're in the hub, etc. Yeah. That, that may generate an, a single alarm in the hub. If he goes to Tower 1, it'll generate a single alarm in Tower 1 and the memorial. So each one would look at it and say it's a signal alarm. But the way we write the rules for this, is that passes a threshold of acceptability and then that comes up for, uh, as an alarm for us for situational awareness. And now we know that this person Someone is trying is probing critical areas. Then we bring in the the uh, identity management portion of it and see if, if that person through the CCTV is is actually the one using the card. It can grow to a, to the point where it's a Mumbai style attack. It's a dynamic situation. There are multiple uh, uh, people involved, multiple agencies. And, and we need to know where the good guys are, where the bad guys are, and what they're doing. We'll, we'll have access to information from the BMS systems and the HVAC systems to be able to you know, tell the, the, the fire department representatives that sit in, in our coordination center that, hey, this is the status. These, these are the floor plans uh, of, of where the fire is. This is the floor above. This is the floor below. This is the status of the stairs. This is what the elevators are doing. Here's what's going. Here's the what the evacuation looks like in the lobby. This is what the evacuation looks like in the stairs, and we've been coordinating with the FDNY on their on their requirements. One of the things I never knew this, but one of the main uh, um, components that they really want to see is is the fire on the what it looks like on the outside. So now we'll be able to develop well, to move cameras, our, our pan tilt zooms and our megapixel cameras to the outside so they have a better understanding of where the fire is and how it's working. Better, some chemical sensors are better at detecting specific agents than others. So we worked with the NYPD to, to determine what agents they were most concerned about, developed a design basis threat of the agents the, the, of concern for them, and then we, working in conjunction with DHS, they're running a program to develop, uh, to evaluate sensors and develop recommendations for sensors as well as develop a uh, um, modeling um, profile of how the prevailing winds and the weather and everything else would affect the, the uh, campus, the site, based on the agent. Some agents fall, some agents rise and, and are carried away. So based on the, the makeup of the, the agent and the prevailing winds and how that works, we can determine things like sheltering in place, evacuating buildings, informing the, 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 our neighbors in the area, what we're doing, yep. who's evacuating, who's not. The basis of SAPS, why it's so powerful, is that we can reach in through, through the API and retrieve the information we need based on rules. So we don't have to monitor every single camera on the site. We don't have to monitor every single alarm. We write rules to say, bring us this, this critical information based on on this situation and we want to see the cameras that are involved, the BMS status, the fire alarm status, the alarm status, the, uh, the uh, identities of people that, are on, that have swiped in and are on that floor mm -hmm. and pull that all into one spot. It's very proactive yeah. because what we're doing is, is we're developing actual actionable information. That, that, and that's the key. And in, in, in normally we have, you know, over 4,000 cameras here. To actively monitor that would be pretty much impossible.